Inflation and shortages are here, but we've barely seen anything yet. Yeah, stock up now while you can. It's only going to get much worse and much more expensive. Time is short. Prep now. Be ready. So here we go. The top five food things you should buy for long-term storage now before it's too late. Number one, oats. Rolled oats, steel-cut oats, quick oats, all will work just fine. Here we have ours in our little jar that it's easy accessible. You guys can take them in a five gallon bucket and throw an oxygen absorber and it'll last forever. Yeah, and we actually do it in mylar bags too, as long as you're able to make it sealed tight. Now, they're highly nutritious, high in protein, which is what you want, which is perfect for survivability. And guess what? The best part about oats, they actually chemically make it so you feel fuller longer. So it's a great long-term survival food. Number two, dried beans. All kinds of beans. Light kidney beans, dark kidney beans. Uh, black beans, pinto beans. Gar garbanzo, is that mm -hmm. what they're called? Garbanzo. Those are chickpeas, same thing. Right? Yeah. Or lentils. Yes. I don't know about you, but I am such, such a lentil fan. And beans are amazing. They're the perfect storage food because they're high in proteins. In fact, they have all the essential amino acids, except for one, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And these are great. Just put them <clears throat> in a bucket or mylar bags with an oxygen absorber and they will stay forever. Absolutely. Number three, white rice. Super cheap, you can't go wrong. You can get massive, massive bags of white rice. We like buying ours from Costco, Sam's Club, you can get it all, to, pretty much anywhere you go, you can get white rice. Yeah, we like buying the big bulk ones too. But it's so cheap and so easy to get, and it actually works amazing as far as diets go, because remember I told you in, in beans, they have all the amino acids except for one. Rice has that other amino acid, methionine. Now with that, we like to store it away I'll have a video in the link in the description below. Don't click on it now. Watch the rest of this video first. But you don't need an oxygen absorber for it. You can store it away just as is or in bottles and stuff. Keep it airtight sealed also. Did you know that a person can live on rice and beans alone forever? You can get by with 100 pounds of rice and 50 pounds of beans a year for all the nutrients you need for one person. But that gets super dull and tasteless. Number four, spices, seasonings, and salt. Something people don't think about is morale. And if your morale goes down, especially over a long catastrophic time, it'll be catastrophic on you. You'll have a very difficult time with things. And that includes having the same dull, tasteless food all the time. You need to be able to, no pun intended, spice up your food with lots of spices. It's important to have a wide variety of spices. Garlic salt and taco seasoning are our family favorite. And I have, uh, Here's some pizza seasoning, but we have tons of these. Mm -hmm. These actually come from the company we order, Azure. There's a link in the description below to buy these. And it's great because notice it's a dry seasoning. We have so many different of these dry seasonings. And what's great about that, as long as the seasonings are dry seasonings, they will last forever. They'll never go bad, never harm you. I mean, we're talking about after decades, they may start losing flavor, but they will last forever for you. And of course, salt's absolutely important mm -hmm. too. It's, in fact, it's essential. You have to have salt in your diet. Maybe not tons, but you have to have salt to be able to actually work for uh, your bloodstream and basically having electrolytes and stuff in there. That's one part of your electrolytes. So salt's important too, has other uses too. Make sure you have lots of spices. Number five, canned food. Boy, talking about lumping things together into one massive category, there's so many different canned food. I mean, here I have canned chicken, canned tuna, canned roast beef. Yeah, canned veggies, canned cocktail, fruit cocktail. <laughs> Canned uh, potatoes, you got yes, some potatoes, potatoes there. Canned chili, canned mm. corned beef hash, Vienna sausages. The list goes on forever, okay? <laughs> so with that, you need to understand what's beautiful about canned food. There's a couple beautiful things about it, but first off, like here's a can of chicken. When they actually prepare this, they actually prepare it so it's sterile inside. You know that? they Sometimes they actually cook the meat in the can, but either way, if they put the meat in afterwards and seal it, it's actually still hot and sterile, and there's nothing that can grow inside this can as long as the can is sealed. So guess what? This can of chicken will last forever. Forever, as long as the seal and integrity is maintained. Now, we have a whole separate video on that. That's the one I'll actually put after this video so you can watch it to basically what to look for to make sure the seal hasn't been ruptured, especially people always worry about these mm -hmm. pull-top ones. But honestly, you don't have to worry about these as much. You just have to handle them a little more delicately. But the canned food will last forever. What about that tomato now, sauce? Now, tomato there? sauce is a great thing to have uh, store up, but and fruits and tomatoes that are citrusy won't 
taste as well after time so you have to be careful with that but they will last forever it just won't taste as well yeah it gets that anything acidic will have that mm -hmm. nasty metallic taste but you know what in the apocalypse we're not going to be so picky so if you find some pizza sauce you'll probably be very grateful but either way i find a lot of people will buy like canned veggies or sorry canned fruits and sauces mm -hmm. and they'll actually take it out and can it separately in like in a jar if you want to do that it's up to you some people buy like the tomato powder but right now, we're talking about canned foods, and why is this so important? We already mentioned the first three items, mm -hmm. oats, rice, and beans. All th three of those things are incredible. You can buy huge amounts of them for storage, but guess what? All of them require some major prepping, including like boiling and heating and all that yep. stuff. Guess what these things, these Nothing. need? Nothing. They're easy. Eat them straight from the can if you need to. Cold chicken, baby. And honestly, it may not sound that great, but it's better than trying to like prepare a lot of like beans and rice. Yeah, but sometimes. you pair these together and you got a meal. Chicken and potatoes, exactly. But again, these are all prepared. You can pull them right out and eat them straight out of the cans. Now over time, even though this will last forever, here's a can of tuna, it will last forever. I can't stress that enough. Um, but what happens is 10, 20, 30 years, the chunk tuna will start to become kind of like liquidy tuna. You know, the beans and stuff do this too. You pop it open, It'll still be fresh and edible. It won't smell bad or anything, but it'll just be more liquidy. So it may not be so much a tuna sandwich, but more like a tuna drink, I suppose. Tuna if soup. you want to do it that way. Yeah. So that's one of the things you want to do is stock up on cans. Now, notice I didn't say freeze dried cans. I like freeze dried food. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, we have some stored away, but honestly, not that much because guess what? You can get the canned chicken, for example, at a fraction of the cost mm -hmm. of canned freeze dried stuff. That freeze-dried stuff is so, so expensive, but they're selling it to you in the understanding that, well, this won't last you forever. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will. It'll last forever. You don't have to buy the freeze-dried stuff. You don't have to buy freeze-dried anything and spend that money on it. All right, so there we go. There's our top five things that I recommend, well, we recommend, Wait. that you want to store away uh, for long term. Five things. Now, obviously, you can list off a whole bunch of other things too. But basically, if somebody came up to me and said, hey, if you could only have five things you could store away, I mean, granted, one of them is canned food. It's like a big category. It's one of those little cheater ones, right? Yeah. But if you could store away any five things, this is what I would highly recommend. And if you haven't started storing up or maybe you already have, get to the store now. As we said, things are going to get mm -hmm. much, much worse and much, much more expensive. So get it now. We've already seen what? Increase oh. in price on these anyway. Yeah, it's, been it's ridiculous. It's crazy, exactly. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. Let's go ahead and look at this next video. In this next video, we'll tell you to look for, let's say you pull this can out five years from now, is it still good? As long as it fits the criterion we listen to that video, yep, enjoy your chicken in the apocalypse.